So this week I've had a ton of fun with the low gravity event. Slashing zombies and watching them float away and bounce off of stuff has been a real blast. And the discovery that the Pizer suit blueprint will also enable you now, during the event at least, to fly from one side of the map to the other has been a revelation. I made a couple of videos on the subject and in my comments section a lot of people were saying this would be the ideal time to try and do those parkour challenges that we've been putting off. And I am uh, guilty of that myself, I've never done the Kai Dagger challenge, so I went to the bounty board, selected Rise of the Phoenix and decided to uh, give it a go. The starting point for this challenge is a radio antenna just behind the stuffed turtle quarantine zone. So all you have to do is select Stuffed Turtle in your quests and uh, make sure you track it and then when you quit out of the game and then press continue you will spawn outside of the Stuffed Turtle again. But we cannot forget that this is the low gravity event which has made it a viral rush event and no sooner have I spawned outside the Stuffed Turtle am I being attacked. So there's the first downside to this. I'm going to get hassled. Uh, also, flying to this canopy uh, on one occasion had me glitching through it and I've never managed to trigger that before so that was quite fun. Incidentally, you don't have to use the bounty board in the tower, there is also one in this safe zone. Uh, you can just jump straight through the hatch and there it is on your left. And I should also mention that uh, those bounties will not be unlocked until you've finished the main campaign. So if you're still playing through the main campaign then this challenge will not be available to you I'm afraid. Now you can see there that this challenge does not allow you to use the grappling hook but until we actually get up there and start the challenge it's fine to use it to get up the tower. Uh, it's the quickest way, you can bypass a lot of the climbing that way. Uh, you can jump up onto this section here halfway up and uh, yeah you're almost there basically. And climbing is the downside of this low gravity event because it makes you far too floaty. You can't just grab onto the top of this as you normally would. You kind of just float straight over the top of it. Um, it can catch you off guard. So before I started, I had to make sure I had the Pizer suit selected. Uh, use the zip wire to start because it is actually a lot faster. It takes you exactly where you need to go. You just have to jump off a little bit early and try and time it right there until you've gone through the first marker. And there we can use the Pizer suit for the first time. You can see it's quite fast. It's a direct route straight to the next marker. Try and line yourself up with the kind of beams there and just drop yourself down on it. Now the next one again, um, Pizer suit makes quick work of it. Uh, this is definitely looking good at this point. Now you may have read my bio and if so it does point out that I am no pro gamer. Uh, I'm not a speedrunner and in fact I'm not even very good compared to a lot of people who probably watch my videos. And the eagle-eyed among you may notice that there are several edits here and uh, yeah it's mostly towards the end uh, my successful run but I had about eight attempts in the process of getting there and yeah a couple of failures here and there have been cheekily swapped out with some nice edits to make it look like a smooth run. So I just had to be honest with you there but you can see that this Pizer suit does help you cut out whole sections that would normally require running and climbing and jumping. Now this section here I will show you one of the things that just kept getting me every single time. Uh, you can just literally clamber up the wall there but I kept accidentally pushing myself away from the wall and then going no as I sort of swung backwards in low gravity. This is what you should have done or at least more like what you should have done and uh, that is the last marker before the final tower. And this tower is my nemesis. I have to say this is where I failed most of my attempts even though the Pizer suit enabled me to sort of land halfway up the tower, cut out a lot of climbing, I kept accidentally throwing myself off of it by mistake again. And again the zero G, it can help you there by helping you sort of cover a distance you might not have normally been able to but also because you're so floaty you could accidentally miss stuff and uh, and potentially just fly off of the tower entirely and uh, it ruins your attempt so I was getting pretty frustrated I have to say um, I'm sure you will too it's not an easy challenge by any means even without the uh, zero gravity um, I would say that the Pizer suit definitely helped cut huge sections of the uh, the parkour out but it's made it much more difficult to climb the tower because you're so, you know like I say you're far too floaty uh, the physics just don't help you out here but there you go, I made it in the end. Uh, I have to say I wasn't sure I was going to. There was definitely a big sigh of relief at this point and I have the Kai Dagger. And very nice it is too, it's kind of made out of jade, it's kind of like a jade flick knife, it's quite nice. 
It turns out that it's a gold tier weapon, uh, not overly powerful straight out of the box, but you can upgrade it. And uh, yeah, it does kill the zombies as would any other knife in the game. But what it's really meant to be used for is as a speed booster. It can be charged up 10 times by triggering this sliding animation. You can see there the graphic in the top left there. Every time you do the slide, it goes up by one to a maximum of 10, uh, which is the fastest. And uh, yeah, it does run out quite quickly though, I found. But for a short time, you can be pretty zippy. Uh, so it's well worth having. I'm not sure it's gonna benefit me any more than having actual speed boosts as well. But I wanted to do the challenge and this was the ideal opportunity to do it. Not a big fan of this type of animation, but it was made all the better by seeing them float off into the distance. So there you go, I finally managed to get the Kai Dagger after all this time, uh, thanks to the low gravity event. Uh, so yeah, it's a couple more days to go. It finishes on the 1st of September, so uh, if you've got time, sit down, try and get this done if you haven't already, and uh, it will... It'll be a bit frustrating still, but uh, I found that ultimately it's probably easier than if I'd have tried it without the Pisa suit during the low gravity event. So uh, have fun guys, and if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.